hey you guys welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see from the title of today's video we are back with another hair tutorial this video will be sponsored by bgm girl hair and as you guys can see it is this beautiful water wave wig this is a closure by the way that i installed with no glue and no spray perfect for the summertime so if you guys want to see exactly how i got this look then just continue to watch So per usual, I'm going to give you guys a quick unboxing. You're going to receive a card that actually gives you instructions as to how to earn money off of your next purchase, some butterfly clips, as well as some wig caps. Now this is a 4x4 lace closure and the texture is a water wave, which is actually my favorite curly hair texture. Look at this lace, you guys. The lace is super transparent and the knots are very, very, very small. And that's a good thing when it comes to bleaching and making sure that your wig blends very seamlessly and it looks natural. So I'm doing a no glue no spray wig install and basically how I do that is I take the elastic band sew it on one end of the closure to the other just make sure you measure it around your head before you do so okay you also want to make sure that you don't do the full length just so it could be tight enough that way you don't have to you know go back in with any type of glue or spray and it just lays down the way it's supposed to so now I'm just putting the wig on my head and just fitting it per normal and I believe the first thing you guys are going to see me do is actually plucking the front Frontal. Now the frontal is pre-plucked already, but um, I did go back in and pluck some more of it just to make sure I got it exactly the way I wanted it to because as you guys can see, this wig is full, sis, okay? Like the density is there, which is great, but I just wanted to make sure that it looked as natural as possible. Alrighty, so here is a close-up of the lace as you guys can see it's looking bomb i love when i have an easy wig install and you guys already know i love me some closures so right now i'm going in with my wax stick as well as the hot comb and this definitely helps to make the wig look even more natural get it laying nice and flat that's super important when it comes to a wig install okay so as you guys can see like it's laying down perfectly like it looks so cute so now I'm going in with my scissors. I cut in the center first, then I use my razor to get rid of all the additional lace, and then I just tighten it up with my scissors. And what I mean by that is sometimes after you cut the additional lace off, you might have like these little pieces that stick up, and it just makes it more noticeable. So I just go in with my small scissors to cut off anything that the razor couldn't get. All right, so now I'm going in with my makeup to just cover up the edges of the lace because we want it to look natural. Remember, your lace is a texture, so you are going to see it, sis, but you want to make sure you have the illusion that it is scalp as much as possible, okay? So that's why makeup and like tinting the lace and stuff like that is super important. So being that this hair is super full, I wanted to go in with a middle part. The curls were just beautiful, so I was just like, no, like I need to show this off. <laughs> so after I get my middle part, 
before I go back in with my wax stick and I go back in with my hot comb as well just to make sure it's laying as flat as possible because this hair is so full I just wanted to make sure that I use the hot comb as much as I could just to make sure that it's laying flat in the right places like around the part area I wanted it to be flat but obviously outside of that I wanted the curls to flourish so right now I'm going in with some water and then I go in with my Shea Moisture uh, coconut and hibiscus uh, I probably didn't even say that right but I went in with some mousse right afterwards I'll list it in the description box down below for you guys and that's pretty much all I did like the curls really didn't need much the only reason why I put mousse in it was to just make sure that it was laying the exact way that I wanted it to because this hair is going to like you know puff up on you not in a bad way but it's just that it's so full so I just wanted it to look a certain way that's all so that's why I went in with the mousse but if you wanted to you could actually went in with just some water and been perfectly fine fine. Alrighty, you guys so that is the end of the tutorial i did just want to let you guys know that i did not have any additional shedding or anything like that with this hair i know sometimes that is a you know a thing with curly hair i did not have any issues with that or any tangling this hair was super bomb and i know that this will come in handy with the spring and summertime because that's when a lot of us like to rock curly hair so this glueless no spray method is perfect for you sis and is very very easy to do i want to thank bgm girl for sponsoring today's video i love the hair their hair came out so pretty everything will be listed in the description box and i will see you guys next time bye